I'm Bob Rice. And in this episode, we're going to talk about process models. Specifically, we're going to talk about how we can apply a very simple first order plus dead time model to process data to different types of bump tests to help us understand the behavior of a system. So let's review a little bit. What is a bump test? For in this example, what I want to talk about is a simple step test. So we step the controller output. So this is our controller output. This could be a valve or a pump or something like that. And in this case, we're going to have a flow and the flow is going to change, right? We open the control valve and the process variable or the flow increased. What we want to learn is how we can characterize or understand the behavior of a system. To do that, we are going to apply a first order plus dead time model, right? This is so-called FOPDT. FOPDT model stands for first order plus dead time. This model is going to tell us our process gain, which we call KP, which is our process gain. It's going to be the how far variable. How far does the process variable move when we manipulate the output? The next parameter is called the time constant, or tau p. The time constant is related to the speed of the system, or how fast does it move. Right? So this is going to be our how fast variable. The next parameter is our dead time, or theta p. Right? Our dead time is related to the delay of the system. Right? So how fast, how far, how much delay. That's going to tell us when I make a change to my valve, how long does it take till something actually starts to happen? You open the control valve, nothing happened, nothing happened, then the flow responded, then the temperature responded. That's going to be delay. Time constant is related to the rate of change or how fastly, how fast does it get there, right? We started to respond here, it responded at a certain speed. Process gain is the how far. In the next episode, I'm going to go through each one of these parameters one by one and show you how to manually calculate them with step test data. Again, this first order plus dead time model, FOPDT, is used to define the dynamics of the system. How does it respond? So when you move the controller output, what does the process variable do? How far does it go? How fast does it get there? And how much delay? With that information, we can generate tuning parameters, we can understand the dynamics of the system to better optimize it and to better design our control narratives. Thank you for joining me in today's episode.